and welcome to another day for Health Mastery for Leaders. I am Dr. Holly Donahue, and I am so glad that you are here to listen to our naturopath, Dr. John Ayo. John is an internationally recognized keynote speaker, wellness expert, and author. He was a successful sales rep that survived in the super stressful technology sector with IBM for over 19 years. Then he moved into sales training and meeting and planning internationally for over 12 years. His book, Travel Balance, helps people stay energized and balanced while traveling. He has spoken to thousands of people in over 26 countries, sharing both his secrets to staying sane and healthy in a crazy world. Please welcome Dr. John Ayo. Thank you, Holly. Um, yeah, crazy and insane. When I wrote that thing, it wasn't quite as crazy as it is today. And of course, people aren't quite as interested in travel wellness at the moment. So uh, we may throw a few of those things in, but we're going to talk about other topics today, I think. Yes, definitely. So John is um, gratefully speaking with us about balancing your stress, and he will be talking about the technique biofeedback. But before we get into that actual topic, John, can you tell us why you became a naturopath and what your story looked like and what your path looks like? Well, like many of us, Holly, this wasn't on my career plan. When I started out long ago, I was an undergrad in engineering and my graduating semester, I'm like, I don't want to be an engineer. So I stayed and got an MBA at Texas A&M and I went to work at IBM in sales, which is again, wasn't on my plan. I didn't know what I was going to do. So sales was fabulous. I loved it. 19 years, very successful career and actually led a team that closed the largest software deal in the history of IBM for a billion dollars. Uh, the little overachiever in me wasn't feeling fulfilled, so I'm praying, what am I supposed to do next? And the answer was, I got sick and not what I had planned. And so I felt like I had a you know, fever every day. I was in pain. I couldn't sleep, miserable. So I went to the doctors, thousands of dollars, scan scopes, tests. They said, it's all in your head. So my engineering brain kicked into problem solving on the body. And then I started going to chiropractors and acupuncturists, and they became my teachers and friends. And I got fascinated with this world of natural health and went and got my doctorate in 2006 and uh, became a naturopath. Still at IBM though, but at least I now have learned and pursuing that passion. And that's so beautiful, John. Thank you for sharing your inner story. And I think there's so many individuals out there as leaders and high performers that we're talking to today that may not be feeling well, may not be sleeping well. And this has kind of been the pattern in all the interviews that we've had and why in my heart center that I've gone out and reached out to all you amazing health and wellness practitioners so that people know that they're not crazy if they don't feel good. And just because the lab test says you're normal, I don't know how many times I've said this on the spread and you don't feel good, continue to do what John did. There's a perfect executive story right there to keep reaching and advocating for yourself to get answers. So mm -hmm. thank you for that story, well, John. You're welcome, Holly. I mean, that is a big deal. And that was what I would leave with anybody is never give up hope regardless of what you have going on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the journey didn't end there. I'm still on a personal health journey and we're always growing and learning to be the better versions of ourselves. And that can be difficult. And one yeah. of the things that we have to remember that we don't hear a lot is that there's really, you know, four bodies that we're working on. We have the mm -hmm. physical body that we know and love and spend a lot of time on. And that's important because that's our little body suits. But there's the mental, spiritual and emotional bodies that yes. we also have to take care of. And sometimes those are neglected uh, quite a bit. And I'm learning that because I'm now working on some of those other bodies right now. And they all integrate together and align to make us who we are and make us light up. Right. And as John and I were just talking before we got started here, it was almost like the physical pieces and getting that all aligned and the doing is the easy part. But the inner work, as you heard from a lot of our speakers, is actually the deep work that's going to, I'll use the word, set you free once you get there. But healing is a journey. And it's, you know, I've been healing for since I was 18 years old and, you know, I continually do this every day. I walk the talk, I keep getting support. And I think that's so important. So thank mm. you. So John is going to talk to us about biofeedback. Let's jump right into there. And what yeah. is biofeedback and how does it support the body? Cause that will help us get deeper, right? Yeah. Well, it, it, again, as I mentioned, everything is, it, everything is energy. So you have these four bodies and everything is energy. It's easier to see the dense energy, which is the physical that we can all see and touch. 
but everything, when you get a microscope and you dive in, everything becomes vibrating particles and just vibrations of energy. And so the system that I use is called quantum biofeedback. And basically what this does is it sends in frequencies into your body from a database. So we know there's frequencies for different bacteria and viruses and fungus. There's frequencies for muscles of the body. There's frequencies for acupuncture points, homeopathic remedies, um, and all these different things. So we have this huge database, seven, 8,000 frequencies, send those into the body, measure the body's response, and then sort from high to low. And then what we do is send in frequencies for the things at the top and the bottom, which are the most imbalanced. And it's like noise canceling headphones. We send in frequencies that are basically energetic directions for the body to heal itself. Yeah. So what are some of the typical stressors that you actually see? Well, there's so many varied ones, but a lot of them come back to emotional traumas a lot of the time. And so uh, the Bach flower remedies, for those that are familiar with that, are different remedies that focus in on the emotions. So the system has those and has definitions for each of them. So I will print out for my clients when we do a session, here are the things that came up for you. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's me. You know, hard on yourself and, you know, never take a break, always have to be the boss, you know, those kind of things, which might be appropriate for your listeners uh, that are the leaders here. But when we get those and then we send in the balancing frequencies, it helps us to balance those out because as you know, when it comes to the world of natural healing, the only thing that you and I do is we help people to remove stressors from their lives. And when you remove the stress, the body knows how to heal itself. And again, all four of the bodies. And we just need to listen to that innate intelligence. And as naturopaths, that's what we do. You know, We believe that the body knows how to heal itself if we'll help give it what it needs and take away what's hurting it. And we can, um, from that being said, John, I always say to patients, we can only guide the healing process. You're actually um, committing yourself to the healing portion and we can only tell the individuals where their imbalances are and where they need to be strengthened. And areas we have imbalances, you work to strengthen those and then you use your strengthings to help with the imbalances. So it's like this whole dance and Mm -hmm. like you said it's amazing that people are like oh yeah i've heard that before i've heard that before but it's until you do the work that you don't hear that message anymore you go deeper right and then it gets more painful but that's exactly right i like you i tell all my clients look i don't heal you only god heals you only you heal you yes Uh, but yeah you had mentioned some of the other things that come up some of the big stressors they're emotional but a lot of times you know i work with clients around anxiety and stress problems sleep and pain and digestive issues and so depending on what you have coming up there. It could be, um, you know, emotional traumas. It could also be physical things. could be parasites or could be bacteria. Uh, And we just identify what are the things. And and there are lifestyle choices you can make to address them as well as these energetic means using biofeedback. So once you, um, once you have that sort of evaluation and those messagings and what the biofeedback machine has actually um, given back for feedback, for the patient, how do you go about putting kind of a plan together so they kind of understand the step-by-step sort of maybe patient that you could use as an example, John? Yeah, it's, um, you know, everybody's different, of course, but we start off with, you know, doing these sessions. It's much like chiropractic, you know, when you first go, you have to go more often. So we usually do a session once a week for the first month and then every other week for the second month. And then you just assess from there. Uh, And it's basically helping to move you energetically from here to here. And so you don't slide back. We go here. And then that's why we do it more often. So we use the biofeedback as kind of the guide and it's helping your body. And then we'll do some supplements and herbal supplements and lifestyle changes as required for some people. If they've taken a lot of antibiotics, for example, and their gut microbiome is very messed up, we might have to do a gut uh, flora rebalancing program or a complete whole body detox, which is a great thing for most of us anyway to help the body dump a lot of the stuff that's hurting it. So we put together, you know, a map and a plan to help folks. And I, and I work with people all over the world because luckily the system that I use has advanced technology that allows me to do the biofeedback remotely. So I can work with you, even though you're in New Hampshire and I'm in Texas um, (laughs) because we're all connected, right? So how can you, absolutely. So how can you, can you explain how you would use a biofeedback, uh, biofeedback machine remotely? Well, much like we're using Zoom for us to do this remotely, uh, it uses technology that allows me to connect with you and your energy and your field. It's kind of like, you know, there's been many books that have been written a lot by Larry Dossie that talk about the power of prayer. 
And I don't have to be in the room with you to pray for you. We're just all connected together in this energetic field. And so this system using quantum physics taps into and connects with you and allows me to do that remotely. And it is amazing. You know, I, when I first started, I'm like, this is just crazy. But then when you start <laughs> doing it and you, you know, people feel it and I've had it done on me from some of my teachers uh, that use the system. Uh, it really is amazing when you feel it. If you've ever had anybody do Reiki on you, same thing, you know, they can do it remotely and you still feel it. Right. It's better to be local if you can, but you know, if you don't live in Plano, Texas, then that's okay. And it's, it's amazing. Um, I know there's individuals and some of my patients who actually, when you're saying healing remotely, um, there's people that are actually for the healing of the COVID and the fear and the anxiety are actually all getting on a Zoom call right. and they're actually all chanting for healing. So like, what is that fight? You know, that vibration just must be so amazing when everybody's on the call chanting at the same time. So that kind of brought that up when you were talking about prayer, like how can we all pray for each other, you know, for healing and healing of the world and, you know, during this difficult time. So oh, absolutely. Well, it's all energy. And so, yeah, that chanting is just another, it's another place on the electromagnetic spectrum of sound. The system yes. that I use uses sound as well. Uh, and when you're in the office, I create a little bottle that has the frequencies that are all in. So when I send the session to you, the energy frequencies, it goes into this little bottle and creates a customized remedy. And then you put drops under your tongue. It's really, uh, really fascinating stuff. So what sort of results, John, have you seen with this system? Can you share that with our leaders and high performers so they kind of get sure. an idea? Well, almost, in, you know, it depends on how energetically sensitive you are. I have some clients that come in and feel nothing. I have others that go on amazing trips and they see things and, oh my God, the light was here and dragons flew in. And I don't know, it, it's different depending on what, where you are. And it doesn't matter, but almost all people feel uh, like a weight has been lifted after each session, which is the intent. How do we take the stressors off so the body can heal itself? Longer right. term, I've had people that have had chronic headaches for years that we've been able to help them to not have headaches anymore. Um, right. Sleep problems, people can now sleep a lot better. I mean, those are tough ones because especially in our very stressful world, especially right now, mm -hmm. it's really hard because you got to do so many different things to support the adrenal glands and do these routines and give your body the nutrients that it needs to help that nervous system to keep mm -hmm. us going during this crazy right. Yeah, the world is just, we are really in a tough, uh, tough energetic, the vibrational state. So like what John was saying, the more that you can kind of like um, ground yourself and, you know, use all the techniques that you can to stay out of the anxious sort of fear state and use techniques like biofeedback, you know, it's gonna, it's going to help. So don't give up hope. There's hope. So Oh, well, and I would suggest, you know, find the one that resonates with you. For some right. people, the biofeedback just lights them up, man. And it is the end all be all. For others, not as much. And they yeah. find acupuncture. And maybe right. not this acupuncturist, but that acupuncturist. Mm -hmm. Some chiropractic, it's Reiki, it's massage. Whatever it is for you, don't give up. Go find right. a modality that resonates with you that will help your body to relax, whatever that might be, because that is the key. And I love that message, John, because I think that's so important for listeners in the audience to hear because they may have gone and let's use acupuncture, for example, they may have gone and seen an acupuncturist and not gotten the results, but they may not have resonated with that practitioner. I know one of the things I do, and I know other naturopaths do it as well, and I'm sure you probably do it, John, is we do what we call free 15 minute consultations. And so what that allows us is to be able to connect with you, talk to you about how we work, what that looks like, what's important for us, you know, where our focus kind of is, not necessarily focus on a diagnosis I'm not talking about, but maybe it's more nutrition, maybe it's more biofeedback. And you want to really resonate with your practitioner. So don't hesitate to call and be like, I would love to talk to you first before I come to see you. Absolutely. Well, that is my free gift for your listeners today, right? Is a 15 minute free for 15 minute phone consult. So would love to chat with them. And again, you see if it resonates because for some people they go see Dr. Holly and oh my God, you're the best. And for others, right. it just doesn't, it's not, you just never know. Right. And because you take the ego out. It's not right. about, it's about helping you to heal yourself and giving right. you the tools that you need. And so I refer out a lot and vice versa as we should. Absolutely. And I think that that is so, so, so important. So 
right now, I kind of want to shift the talk a little bit because this is exciting. I would love for you to talk about um, men and and how men are beginning to really embrace wellness and kind of what that looks like from your perspective, especially from being an executive completely, I'll use the word crashing, quote unquote, and then yeah. being where you are today. Would you be willing to speak on that, John? Absolutely. I, I There's some shifts going on, obviously, in our world. And I think yeah. for a lot of people, especially on the men, they're waking up more and realizing the importance of this. It's not just about productivity and how do we continue to grow, mm -hmm. but how do we take care of ourselves? And so, as you know, the majority of our clients in the world of natural health tend to be female. Mm -hmm. And I think more and more men are going to embrace this as we shift in our corporate world. So I'm optimistic that the other side of this COVID adventure will be a major focus on true wellness and personal growth for companies mm -hmm. so that people like you and I can go into those companies and teach them and motivate them and work with them individually. And I suspect that it's going to be a lot more men than it would have been a year ago because mm -hmm. this is a wake up call for a lot of people. They're having to go inside and look at themselves and they may not like what they see. And they right. may not like where they are. And nobody wants to be labeled immunocompromised because it's a huge right. risk factor. And so I think that will lead toward a, uh, a huge shift in our direction. The other thing I would like to comment on, and you can take this deeper with the men that you work with, is I think so many men that come into my clinic, and I'm not labeling, so there's no, there's no judgment here. They feel like if they're sick, they're weak. Please don't ever feel that way. There's always tweaks and um, sort and junctures that we can do to help support your body so that you can focus, so that you can relieve your brain fog, so you're not so exhausted all the time. Your nervous system is uh, not stressed. So I don't know if you wanna talk about that, John, but I just find that so many males feel like, oh, if I go to the doctors, I'm weak and I'm not strong. Yeah. Well, it's part of our culture, you know, for men, we're brought up, you know, don't cry, suck it up, just keep going. and. When you hit a couple of adrenal burnouts and you hit some major health challenges in your life, you realize that that's a bunch of BS and we've got, right. we're just humans and we're doing the best we can. And you can't do your job if you don't feel good. The main lesson I learned on my whole health journey is when you feel good, anything is possible. But when you don't have your health, nothing else matters anymore. And right. it's so much easier to fix it before it crashes than it is after, as I learned. Right. Uh, I was really working on myself before, but not to the degree that I do today. So I think again, more and more men are going to wake up to this just because of the nature of what we're having to go through right now. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, going to the doctor, it depends on the doctor, as you know, right? I'm a big fan of the medical system for acute care. If you're in an accident, don't come see Holly and John, mm -hmm. go to the hospital and it'll put you back together again. Yeah. But when you go work on chronic things and your growth and stress and all these other long-term issues, and you come to see one of us, um, it's, it's a different mindset, right? I think because it's more like talking and working with a coach than it is going to a doctor and getting a diagnosis. And we, um, I can speak for myself and I'm sure John, you're the same. Like we walk with you. I can't tell you how many patients are like, oh my goodness, you actually called me back when I left a message or, or sent a message. You're calling me back. You're not having somebody else call you back. Yeah. I want to call you back because I'm sure John does too, because we want to hear where you're struggling so we can help support you. I mean, if it's just a simple message, is this in stock or that in stock, but it, when it comes to your health and wellness, like I take that really seriously and I wanna find where are you off or where are you struggling with what I gave you as a treatment plan? And I think that's so important because in the medical world, like John was saying, like I call it a pill for a nail, right? Yeah. Um, in the medical world, they might see you for five or seven minutes and what can you talk about? I mean, how many patients have you had, John, say to you, wow, you actually listen to me. Uh, I have, for the first time, they'll say that, you know, because my first session is an hour and a half long. And then the ones after that, the biofeedback is 45 minutes. And then follow-on sessions are an hour where we have 15 minutes to chat about things. But I, you know, I care almost too much sometimes, Holly, and that's a fault that I, you know, some stuff to work on because when I work with people, I care. And, you know, for those, depending on where they are in their journey, I pray with them mm -hmm. to help them because I really, that's our job, right? Is to be coaches and guides. I don't think of myself as a healer. Again, I'm just a facilitator and mm -hmm. helping provide information and motivation. And when I go to speaking at companies, since I speak corporate because of 27 years at IBM, I can translate all this uh, health stuff into things that make sense for them and right. motivate them and then you know, do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people individually. 
So with that being said, John, can you talk about how companies can better embrace wellness for their employees going forward since we kind of stepped back into the corporate arena and you communicating with health and wellness around that? Yeah, I am excited. I, I really am optimistic that companies are going to embrace this more than just a check mark. Yeah, we have a wellness center. We have a wellness program where you can sign up and do three sessions with but whatever. I think it's going to be much more involved because people are going to be much more involved. And that's always the key, right? You know, we can have the programs you want from the top down, but are the people going to engage? And I think today they're engaging way more, obviously, because all of a sudden this has become a huge priority. So right. the way I work with companies would be to go in and do, you know, set up like a retainer program where I go in and work with them maybe once or one day a week or a couple of days a month that I'm available to their employees for the company. And then maybe once a quarter we do like a lunch and learn or some kind of a, a, a meeting or event, whatever that looks like again, because those are all kind of gone these days. Yeah. But where you get together as a group and you can talk about, because hearing other people's questions and answers, uh, I think is a huge part in the motivation and the inspiration part that goes with it. So I think more and more I, companies are going to do that. Yeah. And I also, I want to add in, like, I know when I was in corporate in my prior career, as you work as a team, not only on health and wellness that you need like your whole team to realize like where you're struggling, but as you begin to work as a team and as you begin to all heal together, like your journey and your work becomes easier. Mm -hmm. And as you feel better and, you know, now you might understand why this individual is having a difficult time at work or that person is struggling over there. So, you know, again, we mentioned it a couple of times throughout the summit, like awareness is key. And just if we all work together in the corporate environment, or even if you're an entrepreneur of a business of employees, and sometimes you struggle knowing where your workers are struggling or your employees are struggling can really help guide you and just open so much up for a work environment to be more balanced, I guess I would say. I don't know if you want to speak to that a little bit more. Well, as well. Of course. I mean, that's a huge deal, right? Is when we're all part of a team and you know, you and I work together on the same team. We care about each other. We're doing workshops together. We're, you know, more and more involved in a balanced work environment where it's not just, you know, constant 24 seven, which is the, the the hamster wheel that I hope we left behind. Yes. Uh, we'll now focus more on true balance because you just can't get anything done. And right. you know, we're, we're crashing ourselves, which we have done. And so we are in a major global reboot of our world. And I, I'd like to think of it as an operating system upgrade into a new frequency of compassion and caring. And uh, it may take a little bit of time to get there, but as we begin to reintegrate into our work worlds, I'd like to think the focus is going to shift more into more gratitude and mindfulness. And it was already starting as we know, yes. uh, but I think it's going to shift in a pretty big way. I agree. I think um, even now sitting, you know, working from patients from home on telemedicine and phone consult, you can just hear their voices change, their energy change. As long as I don't have someone who's anxious or in fear because of the media, just their whole view and i just feel like the whole vibration of the world is just really starting to shift and i think all of us that are working in this health and wellness field are, are grateful for that shift so yeah thank you for bringing that up that's so so important yeah. is there anything else that you feel like the heartbeat that you need to speak to to our leaders and high performers or is there anything else coming up for you that we might have missed john well, I mean, the main message I think we, that we're reiterating here is take time for yourself now before you have to take time for yourself later, right. because things will happen that will force you into a place and you'd rather not be there. So I would encourage you to find a practitioner, coach, or whatever that resonates with you and get them on your team as we re-enter our new world. Um, and I hope, again, that the leaders of companies will embrace and bring in more wellness type speakers and experts to come into the company and be a part of the team and not just, oh yeah, we have insurance or we have an employee assistance program. That's great, but that's not what I'm talking about. Right. right? I'm talking about the people from the naturopath, acupuncture, chiropractic world, uh, not just, um, you know, some of the other modalities that we see in the traditional system. Right, right. No, thank you for that. Because I think it's an eye opener for so many individuals, especially if you're running your own business with your employees. So, and then John so kindly already spoke about his free gift. He's giving them free 15 minute consults. Did you want to go a little bit more into that? Or is that? 
Sure, you can just, um, if you go to my website, is uh, johnao.com, J-O-H-N-A-Y-O.com, and you'll see a little button there that says book appointment, and then there's a 15-minute consult there. Or you can always just send me an email. My email is j-o-h-n.a-y-o at gmail.com. Um, yeah. My other, I have another site that's like my, my best shiny one is my speaker site, but it's around my travel world. But I'll put it, tell you anyway, it's travelbalance.net. You can link to it from my John Ao site. But it has all the things I talk about and. Uh, the world of travel, you know, how do we not get jet lag? How do you not get sick when you travel? How do you sleep in hotel rooms? Those things that mattered a lot about three months ago, now all of a sudden nobody's traveling. And we <laughs> will again, of course, but uh, I don't know when those things will be popular. But I'm today I go and talk to companies more about immune system support and how do we just, all the things we're talking about here, how do we help people to just maintain balance in their life and mental health and things like that. Yes, and uh, travel will come back because so many entrepreneurs and uh, leaders here are, I'm sure, are traveling from their location to their location to grow their business. So I'm sure it'll just all be in due time, but we'll have patience and just make sure we're we're through this. But thank you so much, Don. It was such an honor to have you here today with all of your information about biofeedback. Please do feel free to reach out to John if you have any questions at all. And I, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, John, for jumping on and sharing all your vast knowledge from corporate to biofeedback to... So thank you so thank you, much Holly. to all of our it's listeners nice and our... Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much to all of our listeners and our leaders and high performers. Your health is right around the corner. It's so important and we appreciate each and every one of you. And we are so grateful that we get to speak to each and every one of you. Sending you all so much love, light, healing, and joy. Have a beautiful day.